And let me say this, there comes a point in time when you have to encourage yourself. At the end of the day, it is between you and God. You know, Joshua said, as for me and my horse, you know what he was saying? He said, as for me and my horse, even if my whole soul will not serve the Lord, he said, as for me, sometimes you miss it, as for me and my horse, he wishes household will, will also serve the Lord. As for me and my horse, will serve the Lord. So you and I got to encourage ourselves. David, when his men wanted to stone him, the Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord. So at the end of the day, you and I got to encourage ourselves in the Lord. There's going to be a time that there's not going to be any deacons, no elders, no church. Ask yourself this question, will Jesus be enough? When the house is gone, when the car is gone, when the job is gone, when the wife is gone, when your social security is gone, when your, what they call it, the K, K what? I don't have it, so I don't know what it is. All your investments are gone. Will Jesus be enough? Will that suffice? But we serve a God who does not change. He loves us with an everlasting love. Amen. Amen. And that's good news. Amen. Any more questions or comments or shall we close? Let's bow our heads as we close our eyes. Father in heaven, we give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory for being so good to us. Thank you, Lord, for loving us with an everlasting love. And we look forward to that day when, when all the trials and all the troubles will be over. There will be no more sickness and no more pain and no more sorrow, no more crying, no more eyeglasses, no more wrinkles in our faces, no more false teeth, no more gray hair, no more arthritis, no more hospitals. No more prisons, no more debt. But one of these days we're going to live forever. We want to be in that number where the saints go marching in. We want to be in that number in that great getting up morning when, when the graves will be open and, and the saints will be popping up like popcorn from the graves. We want to be in that number when we we'll sit at the welcome table and eat from the tree of life and drink the water of life. We want to be in that number where we'll be your children. Into the hands of God we come on ourselves. As we face another day, we face it with the assurance that you will be with us and in us. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness. Thank you for loving us and for being so good to us. Keep the rest of our members faithful unto you. For we ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.